on, Charlie. Let's go for a swim. Let's go for a swim. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Up the edge. Watch out, Charlie, you'll fall off. Help me, help me, puppy. Oh. No, don't bite me, just help me. You know I'm not weird in real danger, am I? Puppy, the rescue dog, he'll rescue you. I need to rescue you. Good dog. Puppy. Yes. <laughs> you don't need to rescue me, I'm fine. <laughs> there go. There's a centipede, a cricket on the other side, a little cricket there, and a wolf spider. And a puppy dog! Hey! Check out what he's doing with his back there. Hang on. I'll show you. Oh, there he goes! He's um pumping up his back like that so he looks bigger. Oh, there's a car coming. <laughs> We're in the middle of the road, remember? So he's trying to make himself look big by looking sideways at me. Really big. Hey, big lizard. It's really warm on this road. No wonder you want to stay here. I know, it's hot. It's beautiful. So you shouldn't stay in the middle of the road. All right? Go on. Shoo. Shoo. Yeah, he's trying to look big. He's like, keep, keep that big side. Look how big he looks. Yes, you look so big, little lizard. Little baby blue tongue. You're looking big. Yes, yeah. Go on. It's okay. We're just going to drive around you anyway. But you shouldn't be on the road. Good boy. That's better. Gib River Road. And then I turned around and the lizard's gone. Which is good. We don't want him on the road. Just. Where's your head? Can't tell. Oh, there he is. I think it's a python. You think it's a python, but he's all right. He's going. He didn't like us. That's cool. Did you get a couple of photos? Yeah. Oh, I wish I had a pillow. Princess Karen. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> Of a dilemma now. He wants water. He wants water. He's tail wagging. Oh, oh, who are you, you poor bugger? This dog literally ran out into the road when we were driving past and he hasn't stopped cuddling me until John gave him water. Oh, poor bugger. Cute. He doesn't want to go anywhere. The dog, my dogs want to go and explore. He's like, no way, I'm not leaving these people. All right, we'll find your home. We'll find you. We'll find you where you're meant to be. Hey, that's all right. It's all right. Oh, yeah, it's a bit weird, isn't it? Having a strange dog in the front seat with you. No, it's just... just did some, isn't it? I know. I think I've seen photos of him. Somebody loves you. You can tell how friendly he is. 
As soon as we pulled up, he wasn't going anywhere. He was just like, no, oh, people, I'm staying with people. It's all right, mate. It's okay. Look at that waggy tail, pup. He's got one of yours, pup. He's got a waggy tail. He likes being around people. It's all right, mate. We'll find your family. It's okay, pup. We'll find his family. He doesn't have to live with us. It's okay. Oh, put his on. Far out. What are you doing? He's happy, dog. We're in Daddy. We're back in Daddy. Yes, I know this place. Probably let him out and he'll just run home. But I want to find your home first and make sure, mate. Hey everyone, this is just a quick mid video interlude <laughs> to explain to you the doggy found his home as soon as we got back into service because where we were driving there was no phone service as soon as we got back to service I put a notice on social media saying we found the dog and his family had been looking for him and came and got him straight away we could tell he was a much loved dog so that was a really happy happy story where we were swimming on the Gibber Road all that water has subsided it was all flood waters it's gone into the river and the river is going down um so in the next episode we might get to go fishing there again but for to continuing on of this episode da -da -da -da. Stage one, step one. Feed the chickens. <laughs> if you want to have schnitzels for tea. Gonna get interesting. Jolly's got a bear on. Drone? No? Oh, he's got something on. Oh, catfish. <laughs> there's a, pla a car coming. I just have to land the drone. It's got a flat battery, but there's too much happening. Land. All right. And Charlie's not to be trusted when there's a car driving around. Come on, stay here with me, Charlie. Oh, how beautiful is this evening? Beautiful. It looks so nice in this light. Oh, maybe we should do a how to throw the net moment. Charlie, what's this? Oh, Charlie. Charlie, <laughs> Charlie, likes, Charlie cherubin. likes the baby cherubin. Mm. It's not getting the big ones. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, people have been asking about how Jono throws his net, so now's a good time, seeing how we're just chilling out down here. So over to you, Jono. Uh, this, uh, this is a 10 foot drawstring, which I prefer, because I fish a lot out of the boat. So you don't need it to go to the bottom to shut the net. Roll up your, whatever this is called, lanyard. <laughs> To your net. Now, hold it, I'm left handed, so I hold my left hand, and then about a third, and about another third. This is good for when it's muddy because you don't get mud all over you. So at the front, pull it up, grab hold of that, and your left hand, grab about oh, minus the stick. 
She was fun. And then you grab about, I grab about six handfuls in that hand. Flick the weight over. Twist that over, put it on your hand. And grab another six handfuls on this side. That's it, ready to go. You like twisting. Swing. Let your forehand go first, which in my case is left hand. Which is the first grab that, that you got. Big, yep. the heavy one. Throw that and you kind of let go of that a little bit later. So you twist, throw, all comes out. Beautiful, Jono. Yeah. And hopefully you haven't thrown it on top of a crocodile. <laughs> or or a big snag. Because you don't want to go in and get it because it is crocodile country. There you go. There's yep. Yeah. There we go. Oh, this is what we're oh, after. Oh, 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 oh. But for people who haven't seen, Have you got a big one, Cherubin. Wow, there she is. He is. No, you can't have that one, Charlie. That's mine. As Steph would say, it's my one. <laughs> and you see these things? They, they do bite. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a nice. That's a little one, really. Yes, it is, but he's a keeper one. He's going in the bucket. Hey, he's trying to bite me. Charlie. Charlie, I love it. Can I eat that? Ah! No. It's got biters. No, it's mine. Oh, Jono's marked a little arrow where he put the pellets so he knows to throw out there. Go, boy. Ah, nicely done. Wow, the sun is setting and I couldn't resist. I haven't really flown the drone at this time of night before, so... So I'm not sure how the lighting's going to be, but it looks bloody fabulous on the screen, so I hope it looks that good when I download it. Wow. Oh, listen to those black cockies. Find it, Charlie. Go find it. Oh, there it is. It's in the grass. Good girl. And there's one there for me too. Yeah, I see it. There it is. I got a Ooh, big, big, big something flying around my head. <laughs> oh, look, there's a little fish, Charlie. Don't let her eat them. They might be happy moments. Oh yeah, might tickle your throat. Oh, look at him. That's a big daddy. That's my one, Charlie. Well, that's Jono's even. And I got all these little spiky bits that stick on the net, which you don't want to rip off. Go, spy, shine it back here. Because you don't want to rip a hole in the net. Big Daddy going in the bucket. See me under a foot. See? Oh, Just look, Shirley, what's that? Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> Charlie, it's mine that you can hear in the bucket, Charlie. All right, last throw on the GoPro because it's getting too dark, you can't even see anyway. And then hopefully when we get home, we'll have the whole big bucket to show you and cook up.
Well, I'm hungry now. I got a new home. Yeah, check this out. Coolness. 